Hey guys, this is the Fort Worth Glock Guy, and I thought I would share with you this nice little gift that I received from Everyday Knife Guy. And he had made a video on his Ontario rat that he had, and I commented on the video saying I thought it was a nice knife, I didn't have one, and I'd like to try one one day. And a few days later, this arrived in the mail. So I really appreciate that to Everyday Knife Guy. Uh, this is the Model 2. There you go. And this is the one that's a little bit smaller. The specs on this, it comes with OS 8 steel and it's got an overall length of 7 inches, a blade of 3 inches with a cutting edge of 2.75 inches and overall closed length of four inches. So for me, this is the perfect size, perfect um, EDC blade as far as what I prefer. Now on Amazon, currently it ranges from around $28 up to about $30, $38, dollars depending on which version you get. You can see there's a pink version there's a brown version and there's a green version and of course you can get either black or the satin blade. I prefer the satin blade just because I think the black um, paint wears off a little bit too quickly and I just prefer the satin blade. So anyways, uh, I use this all day on Christmas Day breaking down boxes, opening up toys and, and whatnot and this performed great, the OS8 steel, no problems at all. Uh, this is a Taiwanese made knife, which if you're comparing the blades that come out of Taiwan as opposed to the blades that come out of China, I do prefer the Taiwanese blades a little bit more. This would be right in line with the Budget Line Spyderco series, the Tenacious, Ambitious, and Persistence. This is right around the same size as the Persistence. And for me, it fits my role a little bit better. It's a little bit slimmer design. The Tenacious and Persistence, they're just a little bit wider and the blade's a little bit wider. This is a very uh, people-friendly knife. It's not a big deal uh, to pull out and use in public. And it fits very slimly in your pocket. So this came tip down. And if you do the tip down configuration, it does give you a little bit lower ride in your pocket. I prefer tip up. So it does stick out a little bit more in your pocket, but not a big deal. It is fully ambidextrous, so up, down, left, right, whatever you prefer. Pocket clip is very functional. And rides comfortably in your pocket. And what I like about it, like I said, the most of all, is just a very slim design. It's not very thick as well. So fully uh, open flow through design on the back. It's got, what, one, two, three, four standoffs. So very minimal. And when I first got this out of package, it took me just a little bit to get used to how to flip it. Now, this thing is just perfect. So, oops. So it doesn't take much effort at all. And the blade just flies out just like blades should. So I don't know if I can do that. Oh, look at that. I can even do the middle finger flick. So. There you go. I just wanted to share this with you. I think it's a great little blade. And for 28 bucks, this is perfect. And I believe the Model 1, the one that's a little bit bigger than this, I think is a three and a half inch blade. Um, I think it's around the same price. So whichever you prefer, if you want a little bit bigger knife, go with the Rat 1. Um, if you prefer a little bit smaller blade like this one, go with the Model 2. So anyways, just wanted to share this awesome little gift with you. And those are my thoughts on it. So, thanks for watching. Forward with Clock Guy.